Hello there. Woo! What's going on? We back, baby! Together! Let's go, baby, ladies and gentlemen. The penultimate episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer Season 4. It's your boy, Ellie Moses. Your 22 year old law enforcement you've seen your show shooting your shot, baby. And today, we are up to the penultimate episode of Season 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Before we get into what you guys deem the best season of Buffy, Season 5. But we still got two episodes to go along with the Angel episodes. Because on the Slayer Live Guide, we still have Buffy the Vampire Slayer. These two episodes and three Angel episodes before we can move into Season 5. And we'll also make our decision on whether to watch and continue with Angel. But yeah, hopefully you guys are doing well around the world. And I look like a mess at the moment. Sorry about my hair, but I actually need it. I actually need it to grow out my hair for what I want to do with the special thing I got coming for you guys. But yeah, let's waste no more time. This is the penultimate episode of Season 1. Season 1. Season 4 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Let's get right into it. Now this episode's titled... Prim Primeval? Primeval? Hopefully? Primeval? Oh, whatever. One of them. But let's go. Let's get right into it. Riley made the rash decision at the end to confront Adam the flop. But we'll find out what happens. Also, I like you guys' comments with the last video regarding Helter Skelter and the Beatles, etc. With Adam. Um, and I just find the Manson murders fascinating as well. Because of Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Say what you want about that movie. Whether you like it, whether you hate it. Um, and how Tarantino depicted those murders. I found it fascinating. How he put his neat little spin on it. I loved it. But yeah, it made me research those murders even more. And because it's got to do with Hollywood. And I'm fascinated with Hollywood. It just makes me interested a little bit more. And I just find those murders so fascinating. When you read up on what happened and everything. It's actually crazy. Chip in my head. She really did it. Oh, right. Actually, the chip is here. Tied directly into your central nervous system through the thoracic nerve. This is phase one of your preparation. Oh, there's gonna be some sort of sacrifice with Riley and the chip to take down Adam eventually. But I wonder if the other soldiers have it, or is like Riley one of the main primary targets? So Riley's got a chip in him, and I doubt he's gonna survive this season because of that. Because it has to be some sort of sacrifice or something, man. It lay dormant until the time came. I simply activated it, brother. There Stop we go. calling me that. I'm not your brother. So he called You're Riley. Botched science experiment. And I'm a human being who's going to do everything in his power to... Sit. Sit. Oh, shit. He made him his no bitch power. in like two seconds. Also, I know I've asked this time and time again, but what are we saying about a Patreon for full reactions? Well, I just upload the full reaction. Even if I don't say anything, you guys get to watch the entire show with me. Probably without the watermark as well, but up to you guys as well. Um, I don't know how much to charge. I don't know what it is because I don't like people paying money for stuff like you can thank me if you like the videos and stuff with the tip thingy but like i feel bad but it's up to you guys i know you guys do it for a lot of buff reactors but yeah listen we're here to be the best reactor out there so we'll find out i'm much more the um, i did my part now get this chip out of my head kind of guy <laughs> oh you can't stop talking so i'm guessing riley is right. not like fully um subservient to the chip yet like he's able to he like he has to obey adam's commands like he can like he has to do that but he's still got his riley in him like he remains self i guess like the buffy stuff and his emotions for her and his care for her is still there but yeah i guess adam hasn't progressed with activating phase two of the chip or like whatever that entails but yeah it's still up to like phase one so riley's still got that i guess bit of humanity in him left the initiative but getting it there, that's what the bleeding discs are for, isn't it? Hang on. I think I might have detected a small flaw. <laughs> so you failed. What? Hey, you're supposed to be so smart. You let me plant this thing. I feel like in Spike, in Spike, basically planting those seeds and attacking everyone's insecurities, he's going to make them solve... He's going to make the Scoobies, I guess, solve their issues before they proceed with the big battle or, like, make them band together even more. Willow got that MacBook 2000, Go. baby. <laughs> so. 
You know what would be awesome? If we can get Sarah Michelle Gellar for an interview on the channel. That'd be absolutely awesome. But she's so hard to contact. I don't know how to contact her or her agent or her manager. I even, on INDB Pro, it's even hard to like find out which one's the right one. She'd be awesome to talk to, man. It'd be so much fun. Like, I'd even not just talk about Buffy. Like, her influence on Scooby-Doo on me when I was a young kid was heaps, heaps. That's what they are. <laughs> You're a good person and a good boyfriend, and but I'm in love with you. Hey, I'm starting to like Anya, what like, think? like a bit more. It shouldn't matter. It's like her and yeah. Xander are in their own world. There are areas no one knew about. We all know that needed to. Oh, okay. Mother kept her secrets well. Uh, is that Maggie Walsh? Just like Professor Walsh? This yeah. is all how she planned it. Except she thought she would be alive. Did she clone herself? Or like make herself like a demonoid or like robot hybrid? No. Adam made them. Is that what you're gonna do to me? They're just workers. You know your destiny is much greater. Oh, Malteser's... Oh, he looks like... Wait, he still looks like some Malteser. He just looks like he's bitten him off. So, the chocolate part's there, but the inside is there. As well. What? I found his lair. Oh, cripes, that's all I need. Running into that goon. <laughs> yeah, well, Adam's cut out of here. So whatever he's planning is about to go down. Ha <laughs> ha, the little Nancy Drew. Get on that. Can't ignore valuable information just because you two birds fell out now, can you? How does he know you fell out? Right. Well, you do what you want. No worry of mine now, is it? Yeah, Buffy, I think it's sussed that spike a little bit there. Maybe you should rest, Queen. Really looking forward to trying out your girl again. <sighs> Sorry, Forrest. Hey, out of context, that sounds wrong. Really looking forward to trying out your girl again. <laughs> Listen, I know he means taking her on again. Oh, that even sounds... I, and I know he means fighting her again, but like the, the way he said that sounds so wrong. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. Then why don't you get out of that chair and walk out of here? I'm not gonna lie. Control my Riley. The makeup department smashed it out of the park with this stuff. They do in this show a lot anyway. I love how Riley's just constantly being violated and Buffy's just on campus and still needs to solve the Scooby stuff and it might be too late by the time she gets to Riley. Well, I... Spike, specifically, but... And who told you that we thought you'd be better off joining the army? That's not... exactly what he said. There's a common denominator. <laughs> well, well, Piffle, let's, let's, let's move on. I'm moving. Me too. Good. Great. Willow still not making eye contact with Buffy because I think she kind of there was some truth to the stuff when they had the fight. I think still. So. No matter even Spike implanted Spike or attack their insecurities, there's still some truth behind it all. Like the 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 fight still happened. Like they're not just gonna let it go. The head games. He's all dressed up with no one to bite. He's got to get his ya ya somehow. Come on, we had a deal. When she's here. <laughs> I feel like it's either Adam is going to get the chip out of Spike and it's going to have massive implications for season five, season 5 and later down the track or he's not going to abide to the deal and Spike's going to help the Scoobies Five? I wish I knew which ones would kill Adam According to Riley, his power source is a uranium core embedded somewhere inside his chest probably near the spine The floppy disk, I think Really dangerous Game faces, guys. We're going in. Oh, okay, yeah. No clearance, no. I think Bobby's just like, stop that. Oh, they're descending. Yeah, they're descending. In. They're going. Super. It's not your fault. Spike stirred up trouble. Yeah, but I think trouble was stir upable. I think we've all sort of drifted apart this year, don't you? Maybe a little. I agree. College Maybe hasn't been too yeah, kind to the Scoobies. It's hard to keep the old high school game together. Yeah, it is. But I want it together. 
that's life in general, right? Like, after high school, everyone sort of goes their separate pathways, and I guess sometimes, or some individuals want to keep it together, and it's just hard to, it's just hard to, and they're afraid of change, they're afraid of something different, because high school was so good, you spend like six, seven years of bonding together, and it just goes in an instant people go their separate pathways in lives luckily for me thank god so far in life um i still got the same friends since primary and high school like some kids um or some of my friends i've known since kindergarten like five years old and it's still the same boys we're in the same group chat same boys from high school as well so we've stuck together like i don't have many university friends i don't hang out with anyone from university i talk to them here and there on messages and stuff but i don't go out of my way to hang out with them it's still the same old high school boys I guess I wanted to keep it that way. I was afraid of a little bit of change, but I guess we're so good and close together that we've maintained it well. So I'm grateful for that. Well, I miss you. You're a bad friend. You're the slayer, Buffy. Your stuff is pretty crucial. <laughs> I mean, Riley. And Riley, mostly. <laughs> what a way to have this conversation. Well, been misavailed while either. descending down. You can tell me anything. I love you. Yay! I hope they dorm together next friend. season. I hope they dorm me together. Because those conversations. No. <laughs> <laughs> now. No. Oh. I promise to never not talk again. I promise, I promise. Oh, wonderful Sander. <laughs> Skippy hug. You know we love you, right? I come in, subs. Come in, come in. <laughs> oh, God. We're going to die, aren't we? <laughs> Everybody ready? Let's Great. Do this. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's all set. Slayer has landed. Now so, take the chip out. One chip erected. Paging Dr. Omi one. She's not alone. Oh, come on. Adam, yeah, Spike should have made a contract. Like You failed me again. <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. What's the other way? Just run. Oh, don't kill Spike. Yes. I will honor our agreement and remove your chip. Let's go. Take his head off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Machine weapons like actually yes <laughs> like it's a god it looks like a peanut <laughs> what secret lab the one Adam's been using <laughs> the one built for the final stage of the 314 project Han you have no idea what I'm talking about I know everything that goes on around here cap a tick on a mouse couldn't get in without my knowing it Cap. And if Adam wants to try, we're ready for him. Cap. Jolly good. Uh, how exactly do you plan to get close enough to Adam to remove his power source? Slayer. You're playing on my turf. Hey, <laughs> Sunnydale's Buffy's town, mofos. But down here, I'm the one who's in control. Oh, this cabin in the woods style, baby. <laughs> All the monsters being unleashed on the initiative. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Spike taking out the demons, bro. I knew it was gonna help out somehow. Bro, it's chaos in the initiative. My guys, some of them are getting sent flying. <laughs> Never ask. Where did he come from, bro? Like, what the? My guy was just waiting behind it. Oh, he's cutting out the chip. Oh, damn. Is that it? Is that all you got? No. Got me. Hey, shout out Riley. I'm hearing gunshots, but I ain't seeing no gunfire. <laughs> hey, old Buffy just got 
Man, that attack wasn't gonna work. Come on, bro. Yes, the claw thing is finally That's broken. Right. That thing was so annoying. Got another. Oh, 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 he's got a death machine gun. I've been upgrading. Tight. He's literally Schwarzenegger in Judgment Day. He's literally the T-800. Oh, damn. What did the spell do again? Oh, oh, Buffy is um, Super Saiyan mode at the moment. You can't last much longer. We can. We are forever. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, Buffy got some sort of protection spell. She did. Interesting. T800 is T1000 time, baby. <laughs> Buffy got them Anakin eyes now. She turned into the Sith. Wow. There goes Forrest. Yeah, it's a burnt Malteser now. Since when did this turn into the Matrix? Wait. If the Adam issue gets resolved now, what's the last episode gonna... Because you know how the episode usually ends with a big boss fight or like a cliffhanger. Like a... Like, like, yeah. Like a final confrontation. Can you never hope to grasp the source of our power? Yo, it's actually satisfying seeing Adam finally get rickrolled and ragdolled around. Oh, oh, he got violated. There's the power source. Hey, yo, Finn, it's, it's still your girlfriend, man. It's still your girlfriend. Don't worry. Yo, that required a lot of energy. Shout out to the Scoobies for that one. So the fella, lucky for you, Black is us here, eh? <laughs> yes. Thank you. After all the damage you've done, lucky I was Although here. Your heroism is slightly muted by the fact that you were helping Adam to start a war that would kill us all. He probably just saved us so he wouldn't stake you right here. Well, yeah. Did it work? <laughs> They have no energy well, to stake spike. All right. <laughs> we all get to be not staked through the heart. Considered opinion of this council is that the experiment has failed. No shit. The demons cannot be harnessed. Oh, the commander got wrecked. Cannot be controlled. Burn it down, gentlemen. Burn it down. Damn. And salt the earth. Damn. What a waste of the initiative. <laughs> it's just gone like that. <laughs> the whole season we've been teased about is just gone like that. <laughs> well, interesting. I thought Riley was going to die. Um, I didn't expect it to be resolved that quick. Or like the episode before the final episode of the season. Like the finale. Like the, I didn't expect it to be resolved in the penultimate um, episode. I feel like... Adam was one of the weaker villains in Buffy so far. Like, I think the best villain of Buffy is probably Faith. Like, if you categorize her as a villain. And probably Spike, but he's like a Loki-type character. He's a bit harmless at the moment. Um, Adam was the weakest. Um, not. I think part of it was due to his screen time. And the fact that... I feel like he didn't do much. He just stood there. Alright, killed a little kid. Um, killed Forrest. Killed a couple other people. But they didn't really do much damage he just took one single spell and then buffy just went super saiyan mode and destroyed him like she came prepared but i guess that was from their previous encounters as well because usually when they come with a plan right uh, usually something happens that the plan doesn't go according to plan and then they have to think on the spot or think of something different to do and like i guess be um a bit inventive but this one went, like, according to plan. Like, you know how, like, with Scooby-Doo, right? They always had the plan, and they set it up to catch the monster, but it never works exactly. Something always goes wrong, but then they end up catching it in some, like, different way. But this one, the plan was do the spell, get into the initiative. So it was halted a little bit by being captured, but once all the terror got unleashed, they just went in, did the spell, did their thing, and Buffy overpowered um, Adam, like, with ease. But yeah, it was still a fun episode. Definitely... Not one of the strongest resolutions, in my opinion. 
It was great to see Bob be overpowered and literally just pick apart Adam like it's nothing. But I'm interested to see what the next episode's going to entail, especially leading into Season 5. I'm definitely going to probably watch it straight after this, but we'll see what the finale has in store for us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. This has been Buffy the Vampire Slayer Episode 21 of Season 4 Primeval. As always, it's been your boy the Moses. Take care. God bless. Peace. Thank you.